tube should be replaced periodically when worn or in the event of a rupture. The roller assembly, pump head, suction tubing, and discharge tubing should be inspected at this time and cleaned or replaced if necessary. Note that protective clothing and safety glasses should be worn while servicing the pump. Press the stop button to stop the pump. Disconnect the suction and discharge tubing from the pump tube. Use caution when disconnecting the tubing. It may be under high pressure. Remove the four thumb screws from the pump head cover. Remove the cover. Press the start button. Notice that the roller will only rotate at a slow, safe speed. Grasp the inlet pump tube fitting and pull the fitting straight out of the pump head. Allow the pump tube to automatically walk its way out of the pump head. Press the stop button. To remove the roller assembly, disconnect power to the pump. Remove the roller assembly from the pump head by pulling the assembly straight off the motor shaft. The roller assembly and pump head should be inspected and cleaned before installing a new pump tube. This is especially important if the pump tube ruptured and the TFD system was activated. If chemical has come into contact with the roller assembly, wipe with a damp cloth and dry thoroughly. Inspect the pump head, wipe clean any chemical and debris from inside the pump head, and TFD sensor pins. Notice the black spacer located on the base of the motor shaft. This should remain in place. Locate the front side of the roller assembly. With the front side facing forward, replace the roller assembly by sliding the assembly onto the motor shaft. Apply power to the pump. Press the start button. Again, the pump will run in maintenance mode. Notice that the tube is curved. Locate the inlet fitting. If the roller rotation is counterclockwise, this will be the bottom fitting. If the roller rotation is clockwise, this will be the top fitting. Press the inlet fitting into the slot of the pump head. Be sure the U-shaped fitting sits completely into the rear of the slot, flat side facing out. An installation tool is included with the A3 pump. Install the tool on the outlet fitting of the tube assembly. Allow the tube to walk its way into the pump head using the installation tool for assistance. Gently pull the outlet fitting until it aligns with the outlet slot. Remove the installation tool. Be sure the fittings are securely pressed into the pump head. Replace the pump head cover. Notice that the patented maintenance mode is now deactivated. Be sure that the four thumb screws are fully installed. The A3 will detect the pump head cover and prompt the user to reset the pump tube timer to zero. To ensure a good seal, trim half an inch from the suction and discharge tubing.
reinstall the tubing. Your pump is now ready to resume service.